Welcome back to Sports Final, everyone. Red Sox fans pride themselves on knowing just about everything about their favorite players. We know that Jonathan Papelbon's dog ate the World Series ball. We know that John Lester and Kevin Euclid each got married this offseason. But perhaps this next story may surprise you a bit. Dan Roach has a story where the congregation meets Red Sox Nation. Most people know Justin Masterson as a dominating setup man for the Boston Red Sox. And the Red Sox make the Rays, leave the bases loaded. Masterson claps, he works out of the jam. But there's much more to the 23-year-old right-hander. I became a Christian at a very young age. And my dad's a pastor. I was born in Jamaica while he was teaching there. And Masterson, along with his wife Merrill, spoke at the Park Street Church, sharing many things about his personal life, baseball, and his faith. Joseph knew that God was blessing him and where he's at, so he just, he's like, I want nothing to do with that woman. And she's just in there going, Joseph, see me again. And just, oh my goodness, she's doing it again. Theo and Tito call me in and, and want to sit me down and have a meeting. They, they say, hey, instead of going out and signing a veteran free agent who has experience, who's been in the bullpen before, who knows what he's doing, uh, we want to put you in that spot, even though you've never done it, have no experience, and we want you to be one of the big guys. Whew, all right, well. <laughs> I was a freshman there and he was a sophomore and um, I was bored in one of my classes and looked over and, and this guy was always hugging people, boys, girls, teachers, lunch ladies, everybody. <laughs> and, and I just was like, who is this guy? You know, I had never seen this in a man. And so... Um, <laughs> you just hear Vladimir Guerrero and it just kind of scares you a little bit. And then you look at him in the box, and if you didn't see him, he's just huge, old lanky guy. His hair is like out to here, so it's just the opposite of me. And he's just got these dangly arms. You just feel like he, he's going to hit you with the bat when he's swinging it off. I'm like, how am I supposed to get this guy out? And I just think that that is such a depiction of the story of all of our lives. You know, we get to see the conclusion of that. We've yet to see the conclusion to any of ours. But just that battle of the up and the down and the up and the down. And for us so often, we just go, oh, God, how could you let that happen? What in the world? And yet what we really need to be doing is, is trusting in God and saying, hey, your will be done. What was that like for you? Interesting. I mean, it's just amazing. You know, part, part humbling. Like I had kind of said, it, being able to, to be up there and, you know, you're, you're bringing a message that just is deep. How, how do you handle that when people, when you start talking about what you, what you just talked about? Yeah, it's, I mean, that's the thing that makes me believe it all the more is because there's such a reaction to it. It, it, it gets people either one way, you know, really excited or it gets them, oh man, he's talking about God, uh-oh, uh-oh, need to turn, it, it's, I mean, that tells me that there's a divine, that there's something more. and. And you know, part of it, you know, you got to respect people as you go about it. Like I said, I'm not trying to shove something in someone's face, but I want to let them know what I think is so great. So this was indeed a very special day in the life of Justin Masterson, but if you think about it, it's also a very special week. That's because Red Sox pitches and catches report for duty this Thursday down in Fort Myers, Florida. I'm excited to, to start this new year, have an understanding where I'm going to be, uh, you know, what the role, whatever. Uh, but it's it's going to be exciting to get down there, be in the warm weather, start throwing, see the guys again. Like I, said, we, I always say we have such great guys on the team that it would be good to see them again. And a final message from the one and only Masterson on this Sunday? You know, honestly and truly, it's it's my belief in God and, and my confidence in God that allows me to just be me to come in and just have a good time and know that, you know, okay, things may not work out on the baseball field this day, but I still have my life, I still have my wife, and that rhymes, I didn't realize that. <laughs> For Sports Final, I'm Dan Roach. <laughs> <laughs> Masterson's appearance today was to help celebrate the 200th anniversary of Park Street Church. Great job by him and Roachy. Stay right there. We'll have our poll results on the other side of this break. Stay with us.